Hello friends, this video on electromagnetic waves part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 4 before going ahead with part 5. Now I told before also that electromagnetic waves are nothing but coupled time varying electric and magnetic fields that propagate in space. Now let us suppose that if you have an electric field which is changing with <coughs> so what do we mean by electromagnetic waves as I mentioned just before that the electric field there is one electric field which is varying with time or which is changing with time. So this electric field will give rise to a magnetic field right. Now the magnetic field again which is just now produced is again varying with time. So this magnetic field will again give rise to an electric field. That electric field is again varying with time. So it will give rise to a magnetic field. So what do we see? Electric field producing magnetic field. That magnetic field again producing electric field and that electric field again producing magnetic field and this process continues. So these electric and magnetic fields are known as time varying and coupled. Coupled means they are related to each other. One is giving rise to the another. So such electric and magnetic fields when they propagate together in space they give rise to electromagnetic waves. Now here if you see the blue line represents electric field. Let us suppose if we have any particle whose electric field varies like this in the form of a sine wave. Now this electric field will give rise to a magnetic field which will also be a sine wave but in a perpendicular direction to electric field. That means let us suppose this is my electric field and the magnetic field is somewhat like this in this plane right. So that is why I have represented it like this because it is in the other plane. I mean you can imagine it somewhat like this. When you imagine your electric field it is upright. When you imagine your magnetic field it is horizontal lying down. That means it is in a plane perpendicular to the electric field. So these two together propagate in space. So the entire wave propagates in this direction. Now let us suppose an electric field. Now this electric field, magnetic field and the wave propagation they are all perpendicular to each other. Now if the electric field is along x axis and the magnetic field is along y axis then the y wave will propagate in the z axis right because one way electric field let us suppose the electric field is along x axis that means the electric field is moving along this direction. Magnetic field is along y axis that is this direction so your wave will propagate in the z axis. So in this case the wave propagates along this direction right. So this is the direction of propagation of wave. So the electric field and the magnetic field will be perpendicular to each other as well as perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. You understood? So electric and magnetic fields which are time varying and coupled to each other give rise to an electromagnetic wave. So now we will talk about sources of electromagnetic waves. What gives rise to electromagnetic waves? I mean uh, what can be a source from where I can get such kind of electric field, such time varying electric field which can give rise to a magnetic field and the magnetic field again can give rise to an electric field and so on so forth. So what can be such a source? Accelerated charges radiate electromagnetic waves. So accelerated charges are basically the sources of electromagnetic waves. Why so? Because when a charge is accelerated, the electric field associated with the charge will also change accordingly. Right? Because if the, let us suppose if the charge is at rest, in that case the charge is not moving at all. So that means the electric field associated with the charge will remain static. The electric field will not change with time. So if the electric field is not varying with time, it will not give rise to magnetic field. So there is no way of generation of electromagnetic wave. Similarly, if you have a charge which is moving but it is moving with uniform velocity, that means the acceleration is zero. So in that case also, what will happen to the electric field? The electric field, the change in electric field with time is also constant. The electric field is not varying with time. 
Now, if it doesn't vary again, there is no way you can generate electromagnetic waves. So, accelerated charges can alone generate electromagnetic waves. So, let us take the example of an oscillating charged particle. When you think of an oscillating charged particle, you always get uh, an idea of the pendulum. This is a charged particle which is oscillating. Now, if the particle is oscillating, that means it is a charged particle, so it will have an electric field associated with it. So, what will be the electric field? The electric field will be an oscillating electric field. Now, this electric field will give rise to an oscillating magnetic field. Now, this most oscillating magnetic field in turn will give rise to an oscillating electric field, right? Because since the magnetic field is oscillating, that is the magnetic field is changing with time. Now, it is changing with time, so it gives rise to an electric field. So, oscillating electric field gives rise to oscillating magnetic field. Oscillating magnetic field again gives rise to oscillating electric field. So, and this process continues. So, regenerate. So, as a result, this regeneration is like propagation of wave. So, like electric field from magnetic field, again mag electric field from magnetic field, magnetic field from electric field. So, this will again give rise to oscillating magnetic field. So, this regeneration of electric and magnetic fields. So, we can say that regeneration of electric field and magnetic field is like propagation of a wave because we know that propagation of wave is what it is nothing but a, a field which tells us that the wave is moving in this direction but actually is it the wave which is moving it is not the wave it is basically the disturbance right we have studied all these things in our basics of wave in uh, the lesson on waves in class 11th, right? So, here also this oscillating electric field producing magnetic field, again magnetic field producing electric field and so on so forth. This entire phenomena gives us a feel or it gives a, a feeling as if the wave is propagating in a particular direction. And this wave is known as electromagnetic waves. So, therefore, we can say that the frequency of the electromagnetic wave is nothing but the frequency of this oscillating particle. So, we can say that frequency of electromagnetic wave is equal to the frequency of oscillating particle. Right? Okay, so this is what we studied about the sources of electromagnetic waves. Now, let us talk about the nature of electromagnetic waves. Like when I talk about nature, I mean what kind of waves are they? They are transverse in nature or they are longitudinal. I have spoken about, we have already discussed in very much detail the different types of waves that is the transverse waves, longitudinal waves. So, here the electromagnetic waves Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. Now, let me quickly remind you what are transverse waves and longitudinal waves. Transverse waves are those in which the particles move. I mean, the, each particle of the medium, they move in a direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave. For example, here if you look at this figure, this is the wave. This is a transverse wave. So, what is the direction of propagation? This is the direction of propagation. But if you concentrate on each of the particle, the wave is moving somewhat like this. So, if you con concentrate on each of the points of the medium, each particle of the medium is moving along this direction. So, that means the particles of the me medium are moving in a direction perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. So, they are transverse waves. When I talk about longitudinal wave, it is somewhat like this. Here, if you see that what is the direction of wave propagation, the wave propagation is along this direction. If you look at the overall picture, you see that the entire wave is getting displaced towards the right. Now, what is the direction of motion of each of the particle of the medium? Now, concentrate on any one particle. So, for example, I have chosen this particle. So, what do you see? The particle is oscillating to and fro in this direction in the horizontal direction itself. So that means in this case, the particles of the medium are oscillating along the direction of wave propagation. So these are longitudinal waves. 
and this is transverse wave. So now when I talk about electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic waves fall under this category. That is electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature. Here if you see the wave propag if the wave propagation takes place along x axis, the electric field and the magnetic fields, they are at perpendicular direction to the direction of wave propagation. So let us suppose if the wave propagates along x axis, then the electric field will be along y axis and the magnetic field will be along z axis. That means both the electric field will be perpendicular to the direction of propagation and the magnetic field will also be perpendicular to the direction of propagation. So that is why and that is how electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. Now let us talk about so how can we represent the electric field and the magnetic field in an electromagnetic wave. It is very similar to how we represented in case of any general wave. So we can say that electric field is given as E naught sine kx minus omega t. Let us suppose that the wave propagates along x axis. So this would be kx minus omega t and the electric field is along y axis and how do we represent the magnetic field? It will be Bz is equal to B naught sine kx minus omega t because this x represents the direction of propagation of the wave and what is k? k is nothing but the wave number or often known as the propagation constant. So wave number is given by 2 pi by lambda where lambda is the wavelength of the wave. Now all these things I have already discussed in the lesson on waves that is why I am not repeating them again. Right? So this is how we represent electric field and magnetic field in case of an electromagnetic wave. So these, this will be helpful in solving problems. So please understand this and remember them. Right? So thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.